Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Arc on Aberration, and today I think we're going to be doing something that a lot of people were curious about, and I want to actually show it off because I know a lot of people want to actually be able to do this themselves. So today we're going to do like a full walk down to the Drake area from a biome that is relatively close to the top here. Um, I know a lot of people were a little bit confused of how we actually got back in our video. Well, we were aiming for a spot and then we figured out like, oh, we, we can't get up at that spot. So we just basically backtracked and walked up this whole way to get to the Crystalline Lake. Uh, the coordinates that we're at right now are these right here. And there is a pretty much like a winding path that leads all the way down to the Drakes. So we're going to be going this path here. And I think I'm going to leave this like uncut. I don't know if I'm going to talk over all of it, but uh, we're just going to go. So. A couple things that you're going to need for this Drake thing is I'd recommend you bring some climbing picks. You can't use grappling hooks down there at all, uh, or not grappling hooks, the zip lines even. You can't really use those things at all down there, like they just don't work, they don't really clip onto anything. Um, so I just recommend you just bring climbing picks instead and a glide suit. Uh, so from here we want to head in this direction, it's pretty much follow this spine here, these giant vertebrae from whatever this machine thingy was that they were building. We got, uh, we got some badness on our back here. Alright, so we're gonna walk all the way down. It's gonna be crazy. We've got a spino here. So follow it here. Walk through pretty much everything. See, we, we're gonna turn here now. So I'll just kind of keep my GPS out for a lot of this, I guess, so you can kind of keep an eye on where we actually are. So yeah, we're gonna do a full walk down. We're gonna grab a Drake egg, and I'm gonna show you how to get out alive. And I'm doing this with a Megalosaurus. I'd honestly recommend doing it with one of these because they seem to be the best creature to actually be able to get down there and steal the eggs and get out and even fight your way through all the drakes. Ravagers are pretty good, but they do take radiation damage. These guys do not, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, so yeah, also you're gonna need a decent amount of meat on your dude because you don't actually get a whole lot when you're killing the drakes and everything. And if you're fast enough, you're going to be able to actually just get through all of these Seekers and not have to fight them at all. Probably have a decent amount on our butt. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Alright. So we're going to follow the spine. You can see the coordinates the whole time here. I'd also recommend bringing maybe two or three radiation suits if you have them. Uh, we just got an explore note, did we? Uh, we walked past one. I don't think we got it, though. See, so yeah, I bring two or three radiation suits for sure. Um, we got a feather light there, nice, and obviously, obviously a shoulder pet. I don't go anywhere on this map without a shoulder pet nowadays. So yeah, from here we're gonna walk around this way. Pretty much follow this spine, like, it honestly leads the full way down. Now in this area you're gonna have to be pretty careful that you're actually getting through quick enough and not stalling, because Reaper Queens and stuff can be around here, um, so you just gotta watch yourself, but like, it's pretty easy to just get past them and everything. Level speed and health on your Megalosaurus, of course. I'd recommend probably maybe 10 to 15k in terms of health. And uh, I guess like a decent amount of speed, whatever you think is good enough. Now, whenever you see these things right here, Plant Species Z, always stop at them and just heal up. My dude's already healed, but uh, always stop at these things and just heal up because they can actually heal pretty much every single creature if you just stand beside them. And they can heal you rapidly as well, which is great. Now this is an area that you can jump down to, um, so if you don't want to do the full walkthrough of what we just went through there, you can jump down at around these coordinates. There is a ledge up there from the bioluminescent area. Jump down to here, and there's another plant species Z right there. Very nice. Um, now I don't believe that there's any more plant species Z from this point in the bottom half of the, I guess, the area down here where the spine leads down to the elemental lakes. So you want to be really careful that you're fully healing back here and uh, and you're not like going down there with like half health or something. So along here you can pi find Perlavias, you can actually see one over there. We're just going to ignore everything and we're going to just, one just jumped out and tried to get me there. <laughs> we're just going to ignore the ball and just run past. Um, now we can run this way here, so I'm going to keep my GPS out so you guys can see. So yeah, don't forget to hit that like button guys if you find yourself enjoying this video or if you find it helpful. Um, I do want to hopefully try to get a decent egg here today. Of course, we do have a 185 egg, which is our first egg that we pulled. Well, not exact first, but it was on our first run. Um, we got that egg, and then we got a couple other eggs since, but I haven't found a 190, which is max level. So we want to get one of those at some stage. Also, I would recommend if you guys see any drakes on your way down here, kill them. If you... if... if... If you're like going past them, just like just stop and kill them because 
anything that you're leaving on the way down will be a threat on the way back up and you might be in worse shape when you're leaving this area so I definitely recommend just killing everything and anything that you find here so we're getting really close to the area now we just gotta wind our way down I'm gonna stop here for some stam all right cool we seem to be pretty safe nice we're just gonna wait for all of our stamina to come in this dude is imprinted and very very leveled as you can see um, I do have 2k stam which is really helpful but um should be almost done we're just gonna wait for a full thing of stam should be done now nice all right so yeah I did I did honestly see quite a lot of people curious about how you actually get out and like I didn't mean to leave it in a way that you can't actually see how to get out I didn't realize that people couldn't figure it out so I decided to do this and also I want to test out how good the Megalosaurus is against actually stealing these eggs and fighting your way out of there if you need to fight um, okay so from this direction we pretty much are just following the path and it's kind of hard to see the coordinates but there you go obviously I'm gonna probably be moving a little bit quicker than you can when you're heading down here so just kind of keep note of where I'm going and the path that I'm taking you could even, I mean, if you're fast, if you're as fast as I am, uh, you could even run at the same time as I am running in this. Like, you could be playing the game beside my video and actually just heading down yourself. So you're going to come down to these elemental waterfalls here, into this little lake of element. So we're going to have to, like, walk all the way around this. I believe this area can house some spinos. Not too many, though. I think I seen one or two last time we were here. Yeah, you just walk all the way around. I'm not seeing any drakes on the way down here, so that's interesting. Okay. Man. I gotta say, like, this is... The rock drakes are definitely one of the, one of the hardest creatures to get in terms of, like, the method. It's, uh... It really is crazy just, just how much work you have to put in to actually get one of these things. And it's so dangerous down here. It's just extremely hostile in terms of everything. Everything's just out to get you. It's just crazy. So yeah, we're gonna head down here now. You can kind of see we're getting close to where Rockwell is. You kind of have that like bluish stuff that you might have seen at like the tech cave and stuff on the island. Just take this little path here. And just keep winding our way down here. It's really simple. Oh no. <laughs> I fell. I did not mean to do that. Ugh. All right, well, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious how to actually get down to here. You know, I just, you know, I would have just ended up coming down this path here and then right down here. So sorry for falling, but yeah, that's pretty simple to figure out where I went. So we're getting really close now. We got to just keep our eyes out for some rock drakes. Just kill them as many as you can find on your way in. I'd actually even recommend when you're in there. If you can kill them, kill kill as many as you can before you actually grab your egg. Especially if you see a decent level egg and you want to get that, kill all the rock drakes in the area around it first. For sure. So we're going to head down here. I don't see any rock drakes. Hopefully nobody else from the server is down here getting rock drake eggs right now. <laughs> that would be bad. Let me have a little luck here. There's a couple nest spots below us and a couple across there. I don't see any nests right now. But we do have some rock drakes to fight, so let's kill these guys. Alright, this guy's not mate boosted. That's good. He's a super low level. So yeah, like even just a little bit of melee into these guys can also help. Just in terms of like killing things. And I also do have a uh, journeyman saddle that I got from the surface on my dude. So that was a 150 that we just killed. Max level for rock drakes is always higher than whatever the max level for normal creatures is on the server. And that's because you don't really tame them, you actually, you know, you collect their eggs, so it's an exact replica of its parent pretty much, so that's why they are higher. And the same goes for wyverns as well. Let's kill these guys. Oh hey, that's a Christmas drake. That is very cool. Alright, let's kill this dude. It's a 145, nice. That was a good level, actually. I wouldn't mind finding that 145 egg if he's got one down here. So yeah, we didn't get a huge amount of meat, but whenever we're stopping for stam, I'm probably just going to pump in a little bit of health here. I'm definitely not going to die. Like, there's no chance that this rock drake, or that my, this rock drake, this megalosaurus will die, but I'm just doing this just in case. We could probably get rid of some clutter as well. 
just while we're gaining our stamina back. I stopped collecting those rock drake eggs, or not eggs, feathers, a little while ago because I had like 60 after our first run down here. It was crazy. Alright, let's kill this guy. Just run around just killing as many as we can find for now. And we can head down here now in a minute. So after you've spent some more time killing pretty much every single rock drake you can see around, I'd recommend also bringing a long neck if you want to do this, so you can pretty much just shoot them from across the way, they'll come to you, and you can kill them. So you want to come to like these coordinates-ish around here, and as you can see there's a couple nests down there, there's actually one like right below us here, so we want to try and get down to that one. We're going to leave our dude up here, because if we bring him down there, we're not going to be able to get him back out. Like there is no way to get creatures like this dude out from down there at least I haven't found one anyway so we're gonna kind of come to this area here make sure that you have your climbing picks and we're just gonna okay but well, we can kind of climb down I guess or we can just glide down but uh I think in this case we're gonna do a little bit of gliding so yeah we got some nests over in this area now I mean if you've killed the rock drakes around the area you're not gonna have any issue with them immediately you should have enough time to be able to get away oh my god this nest's empty what no <laughs> oh, that is cheap. That is so. Uh, why is it empty? I want. I mean, like, I got a lot of crap for this on Scorched. I don't see them underneath the nest. No, that's not a bug here. Okay. Well, there's another nest down there. Is there any more? Another nest there. Anyway, we could probably head to that one. And there's another nest right down there. And I can see an egg in that one right down below us there. So we're gonna head to that one. But yeah, you're not really going to have an issue immediately with the rock drakes if you've killed enough of them in the area. Now, of course, you can head further down that way, and there's like an area where you can pretty much walk the Megalosaur down. I wouldn't actually recommend that. There's a lot more rock drakes there, and if you don't already have a rock drake, it's going to be a lot... It's going to be a lot more difficult to be able to just get through all those creatures without actually dying. So, I'd recommend just going here, killing all the rock drakes around, and you'll be completely fine, trust me. So let's get down here and we can drop right now. What do we got? We got a 180, so nice. I wonder what that one is, but I mean, we can't get greedy down here. We're gonna grab this and we're gonna immediately try to head out here. So we wanna try to climb up that surface there. That should lead us pretty much to the top. So I'm gonna make sure everything here is good. I have plenty of durability on my climbing picks. Of course, I do have ascendant ones that I got in a blueprint from the surface, but I recommend bringing a good few just in case. So we're going to grab this and immediately try to start climbing out here. Climb up. Climb up and only up. Don't climb sideways, just climb straight up. And we should be able to get out of here before they start coming for us. Now I may have already killed enough of them around the area to stop them from being able to come to me. Or being able to aggro because they're further down of course. Um, let's get over here. They're further down of course, but uh, like they might not be able to aggro from here. Probably not anyway. Ooh. Get up here, and we want to just immediately run to our Megalosaurus now, and uh, get on him and just get out of here as fast as we can. So yeah, we got our Rock Drake egg. There is one over here, but he doesn't seem to have aggroed on me. Maybe he just spawned in or something. One thing I've noticed down here is that no matter how fast you kill all the Rock Drakes, they will start spawning in again. Like, they just seem to just come out of the woodwork or something. But we do have our Rock Drake egg now. That is a 180. We can hatch that when we get back and see what we get, but... Guys, that's how you do it. That's that's really, really simple. I mean, holy crap. <laughs> if if that first nest higher up was, was like, it actually had an egg in it, then we would have been a lot better, but, um... Yeah, unfortunately it didn't, so that really sucks, but, uh... Man, that's crazy. We got a level on our dude here. Let's level him up here. Okay, so let's head out of here. Um, you guys already know the way. I'll probably just... I mean, you guys already seen the way, but I can just fast forward and like head out of here. Let's get away from all these guys. Also, um, if you transfer the egg into your dino's inventory, they're going to start coming for you. Or, yeah, now they're coming for me now already. <laughs> but if you transfer the egg from your inventory to your dino's inventory, it essentially means that they spotted that you have an egg again. So watch this. This dude down here is not even aggroed. And now he's coming directly for me. See that? Absolutely crazy. Like, they just, they somehow know. <laughs> I think whenever it just enters an inventory, it just triggers any rock drakes in the area and they're just gonna come for you. But we pretty much killed all of them, so it's not really an issue at all. So yeah, we're probably just gonna head out in the exact same way. I mean, I could probably just keep it going just in case you guys wanna see. Because I know for some people, if 
more rock drakes had have just spawned or you know they were coming for you or whatever you're gonna be in a little bit of a pickle where they're all coming for you right now and they're all behind you and you're trying to run out so just head this path like you, you'll be completely fine we're gonna turn around here there is a couple seekers behind us but we should be okay we don't have to fight them to be honest I, I absolutely hate seekers <laughs> they're the worst creatures they are so annoying to deal with so yeah we can't head through this element so we gotta run around but yeah guys that's how you get your rock drake egg really really simple um, I will yeah we'll, sh we'll show the whole way back screw it there's a couple pavlovas here let's get away from those and what do we got? Oh my god, what are you? You are beautiful looking. Oh, it looked like it was cyan or something, didn't it? Kinda does. Very nice. Alright, let's just head completely out of here. And we got our rock drake egg, and we're pretty happy. So yeah, that's like a really simple method of getting your first one. I mean, it's a little bit more dangerous. If you want to head further down, there's actually a spot where you can walk your Megalosaurus down. You can get them from there, but I wouldn't recommend that. Seriously, there's far too many Rock Drakes. And if you are if you haven't got a Rock Drake already, then that means that you're probably early enough in the game. Um, so you're not really going to have an OP Megalosaurus. So you'd be in a little bit more danger in that situation. But yeah, really, really simple. Just make sure you have a lot of climbing picks and... Uh, even some medical brews in case you happen to get hit. Alright. So yeah, we're just gonna walk this exact path back anyway. Let's take out the GPS. <laughs> Keep forgetting about this. Alrighty. So it's pretty much just a complete backtrack through the whole area that we walked through. Obviously now you do have your Rock Drake Egg, they will have probably stopped following you if any more started to come at you, but um, we're, we're golden right now, like we already have it, so we just gotta get back and hatch this thing up and see what we get. I did kill a 180 Christmas Drake, I really hope it's one of those, but I don't know. I don't even know if they actually lay eggs, I don't think, I mean I, I think I have seen pictures of people owning them, so yeah, they probably do lay the eggs. Hopefully it's one of those, we'll see. It was also a 190 Christmas Drake, so. That would be even better if we could manage to find that at some point. We did find a 180 egg. I mean, that's like almost top of the draw there. We're doing pretty good. We didn't take a huge amount of damage down there either. Of course, you're going to do a lot better down there if you have a creature that doesn't take radiation damage. And there's quite a few creatures that don't. And then there's quite a few creatures that do. So definitely look for one of the creatures that don't. I would probably recommend Megalosaurus though, in fairness. They are amazing. See, you can start to see normal biomes up here. Getting close. We just gotta wind our way all the way back up. And we're gonna head right into the Crystalline Lake area. And then from there, I'll probably just head straight back to my base. Level you, level 10. Poop! Alright. So do watch out for the, for the Pavlovas along here. Yeah, lots of badness. And there can, of course, be rock drakes up and down this area. I mean, rock drakes spawn in every biome that's not the uh, the mushroom foresty area. So you gotta be really careful. You really do. These things are crazy. So yeah, we're getting back to the spine area now. Just gonna follow this guy all the way back up. Gonna stop for some stam though. So yeah, let me just put that back into my inventory. I mean, we're pretty good. We could probably just drop all this for now. Killed like 17 drakes down there. So yeah, we pretty much just took out all the drakes in the area. Very, very useful. And it is it is a little bit more, more risky actually going in with the with the climbing picks expecting to get out that way. But honestly, if you if you just keep calm and just focus on where you're climbing with the picks, you'll be completely fine. Trust me. It does seem a hell of a lot more risky though. I do have to say. 
but of course you could fight your way through all the rock drakes in the other area if you can and then uh, get an egg down there because of course you can walk these dudes right down to that area and then get out so yeah just watch the spine we're gonna follow this all the way back up again we're getting close to the area where we already started this video so yeah, it doesn't take a huge amount of time to do all of this hey look a Christmas seeker it doesn't take a huge amount of time to do all this but it is very dangerous so just be very careful Am I, like, sinking into the ground here, too? Wow, this is just messed up. Oh, whoa, what the hell? Get away. Okay, stop for some, some more stam. Oh my god, that's a very cool-looking feather light. Nice. Okay. Followed the spine, so we're gonna take this direction. We're getting all sorts of uh, max level -y things around here. Just gonna ignore everything. Or you can fight your way through. Either or. So we wanna head up this direction here. And we're pretty much in the area where we started the video. <laughs> oh, we had to stop here for a second. That's pretty good. Let's fight all these seekers. Shouldn't take a second. Hey, we got a... Oh my god, that's a very cool rock drake! Oh, that one's so cool looking. I want that blue. And we got some nameless now because my pet is off. Because of all the seekers. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, we're out of stem. Still gotta fight our way through things then, I guess. So there's one of these things right here. There you go. Let's stop up here for a second. We might as well heal them while we can. Wait for the stam to collect up as well. Alright. Let's head this direction here. And we're pretty much right out of here, almost. So there is a couple freezing spores there, I think. But you could, you could pretty much just ignore those. And we're out. This is the Fertile Lake area. Pretty much where we started. You're completely safe now. You just gotta head to wherever your base is from here. My base is just across the lake, so I'm gonna head over there. So yeah guys, that is how you get yourself a rock drake. Now let's head back and hatch this thingy up and uh, see what we get. Um, so my base is over here, I believe. There's a rock drake right there. We can we can pretty much just, pretty much just ignore everything, I think. <laughs> let's not walk in the water though. All right, well, I'm gonna head back to my base. I'll see you over there. Okay, so we're gonna be hatching up our egg now. I have incubated it down to 1%, so it's almost ready. Gonna drop that bad boy down right there. Sweet, look at this drake. Oh man, it is no Christmas drake, but it is a very cool color. Very nice, pretty good stats as well. Wheat seems pretty good. That, uh, I mean, that melee seems a little bit low, but I might be wrong. Let us get this dude on follow over here. Get him out of there. He's very nice blue anyway. So yeah, guys, that is how you get yourself a rock drake. And uh, if you want information on how to actually raise these things and everything that goes into that, I did a video where we actually, um, we raised these guys up with a couple other people from the server. Um, but it pretty much just involves getting nameless venom that you get from just fighting the nameless randomly. It's like a, it's like a uncommon drop, I'd say. Um, and then it's pretty much just a matter of just feeding it to them whenever they need it. And uh, you imprint them, and you can pretty much get like 100% imprint on these guys. They're not actually too hard. They don't seem to ask for the Nameless Venom. They seem to only ask for cuddles and walks. And there is a little bit of a, I guess, a bug with the walks for some reason. Um, if you just hit E, it will actually just cuddle it instead. Um, the walks are just endless. So don't try to actually walk them if they're asking for a walk right now. Um, that I just want to stress that right now this might be changed in the future when you're watching this so 
yeah, um, guys, that's it for today. That is how you get yourself a rock drake using a megalosaurus. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. I mean, like, not too difficult at all using those megalosaurus. Like, you could just tear through anything with those things. So yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. And uh, we'll be seeing you in the next one.